Hello, my name is Dominic, and this is Josh. We are at the Thinkery. Okay, Josh, what is your job, and what, what company do you work for? So I work for a company called Creative Machines, and we make interactive museum exhibits, which is why I'm at the Thinkery. Um, I'm a mechanical engineer. I went to school for mechanical engineering and got my bachelor's degree. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we get to do a lot of different interesting things. I get to do a lot of electromechanical work, so um, lots of moving parts, lots of, uh, lots of motors, lots of gears, uh, lots of really fun user interaction stuff. And, and that's all stuff that I studied in college and, and I get a chance to actually apply uh, out here preparing for the kids. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? <laughs> Ooh, that'd be flying. Um, I'm, a, I'm a pilot, I'm an avid flyer. Um, that's what I, I spend my days looking at the sky and, and wishing I was up flying. So um, definitely flying would be my superpower. <laughs> What type of work uh, are you interested in? Um, so I, despite my degree in mechanical engineering, um, electrical stuff really interests me, um, almost more than mechanical. Um, I really enjoy working with microprocessors and uh, you know, making something move with very little input. So you, know, you, you move a joystick and the motor moves. Um, stuff where you, know, you do something bigger than yourself but without putting a whole lot of energy into it. And, and electrical stuff. It really allows you to do that. It's, it's really interesting to me. What are some goals you try to accomplish with your job? Um, uh, well, let's see. I mean, obviously, I'm trying to uh, reach out to the younger generation with these museum exhibits. Um, so I'm thrilled to be talking with you right now. But if you're interested in engineering, um, this is really what it's about: is inspiring the younger generation and keeping this whole learning thing going and keeping kids interested. And, um, Starting from a young age, I know as a, as a kid, um, you know, my dad bought me a welder when I was in fifth grade, so I've been <laughs> I've been playing with welding ever since I can remember, and, and stuff like that is what really got me into my, my engineering degree. And so, facilities like this, where you know you plan on having kids wrenching on a motorcycle, stuff like that, it's, it's really that's what it's about. How would you explain ferrofluid to an eight year old? <laughs> um, that's a tough one. Um, the closest analogy to ferrofluid would be the magnetic sand, which most people have seen. Um, and you can generally provide the analogy that it's like magnetic sand, except that the sand is a lot smaller and it's inside of an oil. Um, oil is, uh, it's, it's tough. <laughs> that's, how, that's as close as I can get. <laughs> how would you explain building with light to a 10 year old? Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> um, well, the pieces are Tetris pieces, uh, but um, I guess I would explain by showing. And that exhibit was something that you know we just came up with sitting at our desks uh, at work. And, you know, the thinker he came to us and said, you know, we want something cool with with lighting, and you know, we want some building aspect to it. And, and so we just kind of brainstormed and said, well, we use addressable LEDs a lot. Let's make a grid of them, and let's make these touch points where you can change a single pixel, or you can change a row, change a column. And um, that's really one where you you would explain by, by doing. That one's a lot of fun. Uh, what kind of experience, paid or unpaid, would you uh, recommend to someone pursuing this career? Well, um, unpaid internships are usually pretty invaluable to your career. Um, you can learn a ton from unpaid internships. Um, and generally, they're like a summer thing where you, you work um, part-time at a company and, and you really you pick up a lot of knowledge. There's a lot of people at these companies that are really willing to like kind of put you on their back and take you through some stuff that you wouldn't learn in school. Um, and not to mention you get a lot of hands-on experience. When you graduate college with a degree, whether it's engineering or otherwise, you're generally what people call green and that's inexperienced in the real world. So you know how to read textbook, you know how to do math, all these different things, but you don't actually know how to apply that to the real world. So internships throughout school are just crucial to your development because you're going to learn how to actually apply these things you, you did in school to, you know, something you can do with your hands and something you can make. Thank you, Josh, for your time. Yeah, thanks, Dominic. I'm Dominic at the Thinkery, and this is Josh.